I want to take a second to show you how this works and how you hook it up. Uh, there seems to be some confusion on how to actually get it wired up. So, uh, just wanted to show you now on the end of the plug, you've got a black, a blue, a yellow, and sometimes a red, or this one's actually kind of a tan brown color. And so those are representative as a black, blue, yellow, and a red wire. So in order to hook this up, you hook up your red wire goes to the positive side. In this case, I'm using 12 volts, so I've got it to 12 volts positive. The blue one goes to 12 volts negative, okay? And then the yellow goes to your output, all right? So in this case, we're having an output to a red flashing LED um, to show us whether it's detecting water or not. Okay, so if we look at this jar over here, when it detects water, it's going to flash. Okay, and as the water gets, if, as it moves up the water column, you don't see anything. And then as it moves down, you see water. So as um, this would work, this arrangement would work if you were wanting to run a pump in order to, when the water gets too high, it'll turn on. And then as the water gets lower, it'll turn off. Now, this will only power about um, uh, 100 milliamps. So you couldn't use this to power a uh, pump directly. You'd have to have it power a relay or something like that. So this will put out neg 12 volts negative. So you'd have to have this go to the coil of a relay that doesn't use more than 100 milliamps for the coil um, to the negative side and then the positive side of the relay to the um, 12 volts positive and then it would activate that relay and the relay would be able to switch something large like a pump. Now the real confusion comes in on this black wire here and what does it do? <clears throat> okay well you've noticed right now so there's no water but as the water comes up it detects it and it's flashing right? Okay so if you plug the if you connect this um, black wire to negative like this, it's going to do the opposite of that. So now you could use this in order to say you've got it on here and you want to use this to tell you when a tank is full. Okay, so then as the water rises, it turns off the pump. So you have a pump that's filling up, filling up your, your tank. As the water level goes down, it's going to come up, it's going to fill up the tank until it senses the water has risen and it's going to go off. So that's what your black wire does and it connects to the negative side of your 12 volt system. Here's just showing it to you in the in a schematic. So you attach the brown or it might be red to 12 volts. The blue goes to ground which is this is your battery so it attaches where that triangle does. Those attach together and this 12 volt attaches to the 12 volt side of your battery or your transformer whether you're using a battery or a transformer and it could be 5 to 24 volts and then the yellow comes out and see it's going to feed the coil of a relay and the other side of the coil is going to go to 12 volts then this is your relay and so you've got 12 volts or you could even do a 110 volt uh, pump powered by this if you use a relay that can handle that. You could do the coil with 12 volts or anywhere from 5 to 24 depending on what your system needs to be. And so you would have the positive side of that you'd uh, switch it inside the relay. When this activates it'll pull it down and turn your pump on and then this side's going to go to ground the other side of your pump. So that's just another view of how this thing works. So that's really all there is to it. I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.